Sedition, that prickly law that an insecure bunch of people in power can apply to any situation which makes them uncomfortable. I think this government is terrible. It has to go. Haha, Vidro, sedition. Aaj maine cartoon banaya. Aha, sedition. Yaar, ye government pothole kyun nahi fix karti hai? Sedition. I think veg biryani is just pulao. I'm very triggered and offended by this sedition. You get a sedition. You get a sedition. Everybody gets a sedition. But what is sedition? And why are we talking about it right now? Well, there was an important case in the Supreme Court that concluded last week, where they granted protection to journalist Vinod Dua after he was charged with sedition. This case has far-reaching implications for press freedom and free speech. So, what is this all about, and what is sedition? Mahana, let me explain. Okay, first up, let's talk about the case. Remember how last year when Adarniya Shri Pradhan Sevak Narendra Modi ji imposed a nationwide COVID lockdown by giving four hours notice, and then it caused one of the biggest humanitarian crises ever as migrant citizens started walking back to their homes. Remember that? Yeah. So Vinod Dua did a video on 30th of March 2020 for HW News about it. He essentially called out the Modi government for bungling up the whole COVID-19 thing. Two months later, on May 6th, a BJP fellow from Himachal Pradesh named Ajay Sham saw the video and was like, "Sedition." Yeah, Ajay took offense at two particular things that were said. First, he got offended when Dua said Narendra Modi has used deaths and terror attacks to garner votes. Second, he was super upset when Dua claimed that the government does not have enough testing facilities to detect and control the virus. Since Sham sir was so offended on behalf of the government and Pradhan Sevak ji, he filed an FIR in a place called Kumar Sai, which is in Himachal Pradesh. In case you are wondering, this is Kumar Sai. It's 450 kilometers away from Delhi, where Dua lives. So Vinod Dua was charged under IPC sections 124A, which is sedition; 268, which is public nuisance; 501, printing matter known to be defamatory; and 505, statements conducive to public mischief. He was asked to come to Kumar Sai for an interrogation a week after the FIR was filed. The court stepped in here and granted protection to Dua. It said that Dua does not need to go to Kumar Sai and should cooperate with the Himachal Pradesh police over video conferencing because you know COVID. Last week, a two-judge bench of the Supreme Court passed a judgment quashing the whole thing and said, "Quote: Every journalist will be entitled to protection in terms of Kedarnath Singh, as every prosecution under the sections 124A and 505 of the IPC." Must be in strict conformity with the scope and ambit of the said sections, as explained in and completely in tune with the laws laid down by the Kedarnath Singh. Unquote. I know, confusing, but my hai na. Me kis ke liye baat hai? Now I need to tell you about two things. One, what is sedition, and two, what is Kedarnath Singh judgment? First, let me explain in two lines what is sedition and what isn't. If a person criticizes the government in power and calls out netas for mismanagement, then it is not sedition. In fact, if a person says this government is a dumpster fire and the leaders are garbage, this government needs to go. Even that is not sedition. You know why? Because that is our right. We can throw out garbage governments every five years by voting. In fact, voting is one of the ways in which we uphold our fundamental right to free speech and expression. But when a person wants to overthrow the government, the judges, the bureaucrat, the police force, the army, grade D officers, and the gardeners who tend to Rashtrapati Bhavan's backyard, basically the whole structure of our democracy, and that too in a violent way, that's a big no-no. That counts as sedition. This is precisely what the landmark 1962 Kedarnath Singh case was about. In that case, the Supreme Court upheld the constitutional validity of the sedition law, but it attempted to restrict its scope for misuse. 
the court made a few important observations about the application of sedition number 1 the government needs to be separated from the people running the administration government is a perpetual entity while leaders they will come and go satta ka khel to chalega sarkare aayengi jayengi partiyan banengi bigadengi magar ye desh rehna chahiye is desh ka lok tantra mar rehna chahiye correct vajpayee ji now number 2 when someone makes strongly worded comments and expresses disapproval towards the government it's all right unless those lead to actual acts of violence like you know standing in vijay chowk with 100 people with guns and launching an armed revolution to overthrow the system that type of thing yeah number 3 a citizen has a right to say or write whatever he or she likes about the government again as long as they don't incite violence the court said that only when the words written or spoken etc have an intention of creating public disorder or disturbance of law and order behind them only then the sedition law can be applied to prevent such activities that my friends is what was reiterated in the vinod dua case this is also an important judgment with regards to press freedom along with quashing the fir vinodwa had made another prayer before the court he had asked them to set up a committee which examines a case against a journalist with over 10 years of experience before any such fir is filed against them that prayer however was not accepted by the supreme court here's the thing sedition is a colonial law which was inserted into our collective lives by the british empire a white dude called sir james fitz james stephen yes two james in one name because one is not enough t muffin anyway white boy james put in the sedition law 151 years ago yes that's back in 1870 yes that law was based on the uk treason felony act of 1848 <laughs> That law was all about deference to the king. Yes, bow down before the king or the queen, whichever is in power. Yes. Okay, fun fact, the sedition law in UK was abolished back in 2009. While abolishing this law, the parliamentary under secretary of state at Ministry of Justice Claire Ward said some very important things. Quote, sedition and seditious and defamatory libel are arcane offenses. from a bygone era when freedom of expression wasn't seen as the right it is today the existence of these obsolete offenses in this country has been used by other countries as justification for the retention of similar laws which have been actively used to suppress political dissent and restrict press freedom abolishing these offenses will allow the uk to take a lead in challenging similar laws in other countries where they are used to suppress free speech unquote matlab ब्रिटिश चले गए सेडिशन लॉ छोड़ गए फिर अपने कंट्री में जाके स्क्रैप भी कर दिया बट नॉट इन इंडिया नो 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 वी कंटिन्यू टू कीप दिस प्रेशियस लॉ एंड एक्टिवली यूज इट काफी अमेजिंग अंडर आर सेडिशन लॉ व्हिच इज सेक्शन 124 ए ऑफ द इंडियन पिनल कोड अ पर्सन कैन बी पनिश्ड विद इंप्रिजनमेंट फॉर लाइफ व्हिच कैन एक्सटेंड टू थ्री इयर्स एंड अ फाइन ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट ओ एंड दिस इज अ नॉन बेलेबल अफेंस फन टाइम्स In the past sedition has been invoked on Bal Gangadhar Tilak for writing in a Marathi magazine and opposing the British Raj by invoking Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was charged with sedition too and he said that it was a privilege to be charged with sedition Gandhi said people should be free to express their disaffection towards the government so long as they aren't inciting violence classic mk other than these two Sedition has been tokofied on writer Arundhati Roy, Hindu nationalist Pravin Togadia, cartoonist Asim Trivedi, activist Binayak Sen and Disha Ravi, and thousands of protesters who oppose the nuclear plant in Kudankulam. Oh, and also Kanaiya Kumar. How can I forget Kanaiya Kumar? Yeah, I mean just look at this range. Look at this. Right wing ka, left wing ka, freedom fighters ka, sab ki vaat lagayega le tera sedition. If it's not clear to you by now that this sedition is just a draconian tool used by people in power to crush dissent of any kind and perpetuate their power then let me tell you that sedition is just a draconian tool used by people in power to crush dissent of any kind and perpetuate their power 
yeah editors guild also gave a statement saying quote the manner in which such laws are implemented by law enforcement authorities in different parts of the country leading to pre trial incarceration needs further intervention by the apex court the guild demands repeal of these draconian and antiquated laws that find no space in any modern liberal democracy unquote what will happen after this well a fresh constitutional challenge has been filed by two journalists kishor chandra vankemcha and kanhaiya lal shukla to scrap sedition law from the law books the vinod dua judgment only bolsters their case against the law now let's just hope that the courts take up the case by like i don't know 2056 we'll just have to wait and watch i guess so i read a lot of your youtube comments yes i do and you have pointed out that you are very interested in this bookshelf here a lot of you pointed out ki ye repeated books kyu hai yahan pe guys gimmick hai ye aise randomly nahi dala yahan pe okay let me explain so this is a part of our book giveaway right so we are running a contest where if you are a subscriber and you convince three people to subscribe to news laundry you take their email addresses which they have used to subscribe and send it to us then you can pick one of these books yeah let me tell you so we have jungle nama by amitav ghosh we have commonwealth of cricket by ramchandra guha we have the great unraveling by sanjay jha and we have devdutt patnaik ka latest book and anuja chauhan ka latest book as well so you can pick from any of these books and therefore these books are repeated matlab thank you for your observation but this is genuinely a gimmick guys so subscribe to news laundry and pay to keep news free thanks